welcome back to my channel. I have done a makeup tutorial for you today. Something a bit different, something a bit fun, something a bit hopefully looking effortless less. <laughs> well joke, I know this doesn't look effortless less. I can't say that word, effortless. Oh, it's just effortless. <laughs> so I wanted to film a tutorial for those of you who wanted to go to a coffee shop to meet a friend, you know, go to an art gallery or a museum, and you just want some makeup that looks special, but doesn't look like you've spent ages doing it and it's not over the top, it's not gonna blind anyone that you're meeting, but also just looks nice and chic and just like a bit of daytime glam. So if you want that, then this is the look for you. And yeah, I think it's cute. I think for me, sometimes I like to obviously wear sparkly things and glitter and shimmers and stuff on the eyelid but other times if I'm meeting someone that's like a friend maybe you don't see them very often and you just don't want it to look like you've made a massive effort and you've taken hours to get ready in the morning but equally you want to look your best and you just want something a little bit fun and a bit more than like what you'd wear on your everyday Monday to Friday. I hope you really like the look and I hope you try it in the next museum or coffee shoppy thing that you go to. See if your friend notices and compliments you and just, you know, take it on the chin, let them know it took you 10 minutes. But yeah, I really hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you have a great coffee with your pal in the shop. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. How cute is this mug? So cute. So, so I'll just say one thing, just one thing before I start doing my makeup today. And this thing, I want to get across so much how, how I used to think this thing, it was so stupid and such a waste of time. And I personally hated to do it. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do it. But, Recently, I have started to do it, and now I literally cannot preach enough, like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It is so amazing, and it makes your makeup look so, so good. <sighs> Should I tell you what it is? Doing your eyebrows first. I know it sounds so small, but genuinely, if you take time with your brows, they make your face look so, so, so good. Just so good. And not only doing your eyebrows first, but then doing your eyes second. So doing your face last, because I don't want to get into it now, because this video isn't about which way around you do what, but seriously. That said, I'm going to do my face first. <laughs> Lol joke, I'm doing my brows first, and then I'm going to do my eyes. I am going to mostly speed past the process of doing my brows because maybe I'll do a separate brow video. I feel like I've been saying that for ages. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I probably will. So that's why I'm going to leave it until then. Oh, but I will do the last bit of my brows today and not go fast forwarding past it because that is the bit for me that is the life changer the deal breaker, it's the reason I now do my brows first. Anyway, so the brow pencil I'm gonna use is the Laura Mercier pencil, and it's in the shade Blonde, because I'm so blonde. Um, so it has the little brush in one end and the pencil in the other, which I need to sharpen, but I must say though, if you do actually keep your eyebrow pencils and um, eye pencils and eyeliners and stuff, you do actually keep them sharp it makes a massive massive difference one it's just easier to use two oh found it thank god two it just looks so much nicer like you can obviously be way more defined about it rather than just like blurry and a bit of a mess so yeah if you can actually keep your eye liner pencils as well really sharp if you're doing like a soft eye line on the top it honestly makes such a big difference because like you can get a really nice defined flick rather than like a blurry mess I need to get a new sharpener though because it doesn't sharp, it just breaks. Anyways.
Okay, so genuinely I feel like my face shape has just like changed slightly and also I've like given myself and my eyes the frame to go in and do my eye makeup now, which I'm really excited to do. So I don't I don't really know what exactly I'm gonna create today, but the idea of today's makeup look is like a super fun coffee shop daytime look for like if you're going to meet a friend, maybe you don't see them very often or they're a special friend so you just want to make a little bit of an effort but you don't want anything like too over the top and to make it look like you've been spending hours doing your makeup just to go to the coffee shop and meet them for a coffee. So you need the perfect look, you know, between like looking really nice but also looking effortlessness, Eff effort effortlessness, effortless. So I'm actually going to use this palette and I got this palette, um, I ordered it last week and it arrived at the weekend and I was literally like wow this palette is so nice. Firstly it's really heavy, not like the other Morphe palettes or any other palette I have. So it actually just feels really like sturdy and heavy duty so I really like it. Um, this is the Artistry palette by Morphe. It's such good value for money which is why I got it and also it has the cutest colours in it and they're so different to what I would normally go for so caught my eye and I thought why not. It's actually one of the best looking palettes I think I've actually ever seen as well. It's got a mirror for, oh, it's got a mirror for one, there's my kitchen. Um, which is amazing because normally on like slightly smaller palettes you don't actually get a mirror. And then this combination of colours is just so cute. Like they've got a navy blue which is so fun and I, I've never used navy blue on my eye before I think. Then it obviously has like all of your warm browns which is just always really good to have loads of different browns. And then it's got this colour which I am loving. It's like a brown slash purple um, glittery colour. I literally love it. It's called, it's a mix between dope and epic. So it's dope, epic. But it's quite hard to say and it's not that obvious. But um, yeah, that's the colour. So it actually just comes out not that glittery and quite like brown, which is interesting. I like it, definitely. Yeah, obviously then it's got like some strong greens in the corner like that one and this one, which just looks really fun. I think like if you're doing a green eye and then you were to do like that in your inner corner would be a bit fun. But anyway, enough about the palette and more about me creating a makeup look for you guys. So yeah, I, I just actually wanna sit down and create a fun, effortless e makeup look that you could wear to like the coffee shop to meet your pal. That's all today is. So I'm gonna start off with, um, I'm gonna start off with the color Strike a Pose, which is this one, like a warm brown. And then I'm probably gonna go straight in with this like teal color, which is called Before, although I'm using it after, because it looks really fun. So as usual, I'm gonna use my MAC 224, which is just this like big fluffy blending brush. I'm not gonna lie, I have used this. I did briefly just use like a few of the colours at the weekend. Um, and I loved it. Oh my god, I haven't even primed my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with my NARS concealer and this is in the shade Vanilla or Light 2 and I'm just gonna shove a bit of this on my lids. I did also get the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm about like two or three years late but I do get what all the fuss is about, so. So I'm gonna use a damp beauty sponge to blend that in, and this is the one, this is just a Real Techniques beauty sponge. And then I'm gonna go straight over the top with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Translucent Powder. The brush I'm gonna use to apply this powder is my favorite one to apply like under eye powder, which is my tapered highlighter brush, which is the F35, and it's by Sigma. Okay, so going back to the MAC 224, I'm just going to pop this brown like basically in my crease and I like to apply my shades in small circular motions just because I think it really gives that blown out effect. One thing I have realised about this palette is that the colours are really really pigmented so I'm trying to use even less each time than I normally would just to make the blending process easier and faster. Mmm, I like that, honey.
As always, I like to bring my shadows quite far out, especially like the lighter ones that I put in, like in my um, crease or like on my brow bone, just because it just, I think it looks so flattering. It makes your eye look really wide. And also if you blend it really well, it can just look almost quite natural as well. It should do like small circular motions with the colour white out here. Which is basically in line with the end of my brow. But I think it looks really nice. And I feel like it lifts your eye a bit. And gives you like that cat eye effect. And so now you're coming in here as well. It just look quite natural but yeah definitely give your eye that width but yeah make sure you just um, spend a while blending it and make sure it's like fully blown out and softly blended everywhere next I'm gonna go in with this green because I'm literally loving that shade it's like perfect tealy kind of color I'm gonna use the same brush and um, basically just mix it with the brown that I just um, put down. So basically just go straight over the top. So I am going to keep this all matte. But I'm going to use some slightly different colours. So I think what I'm going to do is use um, OOTD on the lid. I'm going to use this flat brush which is the MAC 230. So this is more of a pressing motion. Um, on the lid than anything else and I'm just going up to the crease with this colour and then I'll be blending it into the other colours up there and then just going back in with both of the colours that I used first of all mixing them a bit and then just with the same brush going back in the crease just to really blend those colours together in there Make sure they haven't lost that brown at the edges. But I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on the bottom um, underneath my eye just so that I can then go in and do my lower lash line. So um, this is in the shade Fair Beige. I feel like it's maybe a bit fair for me but you have to buy this online in the UK so I had to just choose one and go with it you know. So again I'm just going to use my damp beauty sponge to blend that in. And I'll use the powder as well just to set that. And now I now look really red. So on my lower lash line I'm going to use this smaller um, brush which is the JH40. And I'm going to keep it lighter actually I've decided. So I'm going to first of all use this shade Striker Pose. And then I'm going to use this which is no filter needed, there you go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of that as well in the middle of the lower lash line, and I think that's all I'm gonna use on the bottom lash line. So I'm kind of connecting the top and bottom lash line with this light brown shade. And I'm also bringing this shade um, quite far down as well, because I think that looks quite nice and it's also really good just for like a daytime look as well to bring that shade a bit further down because it does cover up your creases underneath your eyes and if your concealer or your foundation is creasing in that section underneath your eyes then just covering it up with like a shadow is a really good idea So I'm going to use the JH43 and this OOTD shade that I did use on the top as well, which is like the tealy colour. Um, so I'm just going to stamp this really close to the lash line, mainly on the outer bit as well, which is just going to tie the two lash lines together. Also just make the bottom lash line a little bit more defined. Only just really tight to the lash line. And just on the 
outer part mainly as well and that just I think looks so much nicer. While I'm here as well I'm just going to do that a little bit on the top just tie it to the lash line too just to add a little bit of definition there as well to make sure that we haven't lost any of the intensity there when we were blending. So that's just made it a bit more intense. Next I am going to go in and use a little bit of some after and potentially all three of these shimmers in the bottom but I'm going to start off with after and I may just go over it if I need to with like one of the darker shades. I'm just going to apply this kind of in the centre on the lower lash line just delicately. I do like that, but I'm just going to go over the top with a tiny bit of Work It, which is this colour <laughs> right next door, just to kind of like not have it so bright. Yeah, I feel like that works. Let's start to finish off the eyes now, and then um, off camera I'm just going to finish off my face. So I'm going to use um, this, which I'm literally loving, I've been speaking about it a lot in my tutorials and other videos recently. So it's a high brow highlighter um, pencil for benefit. So if you want to know why I love it so much, feel free to go and watch the video I uploaded for this one. But it just does a really great job, it's really easy to use and I find it quite fun to use as well compared to what I was using before to do this. Um, so it's just really good at quickly clearing everything up and then if you want, which I generally do as well, you can just um, go over the top of that and highlight it after you've blended it out. So I'm just going to, sometimes I use my finger and sometimes I use this old guy which is the JH41 so I'm just going to use this to just blend it in. Just because my fingers are a bit dirty with those shimmers. I guess the downfall about that, that pencil is that I like to be really precise when I'm doing this up here um, and I think the more precise you can be with this under brow highlight and clean up the better it will look so I, yeah, I do wish the end of it was a bit more like streamlined and thinner. So I am going to go over the top of that and just highlight little areas as well. So I'm going to use my MAC pigment, this one's in the shade Vanilla, as most of my makeup is because I'm so pale. So I'm just going to highlight the highest point of the brow bone on each side and then also the inner corner and I really like with the inner corner to set like a V up, so not just do like a blob but um, like follow the actual V shape that I've got going on there. I'm going to throw some mascara. The mascara I'm going to use is my Bad Gal Bang mascara by Benefit which I'm loving because it makes your lashes just super long and volumised and also the wand is really small so it's just a really easy thing to use. In terms of lashes I'm probably actually not going to wear lashes just because I am going to meet a friend in a coffee shop and I don't want to be like, oh, hey, I just spent 10 hours doing my makeup. Plus I've got a, like, a dark smoky eye anyway, so potentially I would need lashes, you know. Let's put this mascara to the test without them. I'm always saying how amazing it is. As you see what I'm saying? The mascara is actually really good. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my face off camera just because, well, it's just a bit of, you know, foundation. Bronzer, blusher, highlighter, etc, etc. This look is more about like a cute fun matte eye look and I don't want my, all my videos to be like 30 minutes long. So yeah, I'm going to go and do my makeup off camera and I'll be back in a sec. I feel like 
I need a pair of glasses for this look. So there you have the finished look. I really hope you like the look. I hope you wear it to your coffee shop at the weekend. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.